Hey, if you guys don't know it yet, PCB Way's fourth annual PCB design contest is going on right now. You can get your entries in between August 9th and November 30th. They will be reviewed December 1st through December 12th with an announcement of the winner coming December 13th. So, what do you get if you win? Well, you can get a lot. First prize winner gets $1,500 cash, a $200 coupon, and a Raspberry Pi. Now, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Uh -oh. Didn't mean to do that. Second <laughs> try that again. Second prize winner gets a thousand dollars cash, a hundred dollar coupon, and a Raspberry Pi three. Third prize winner gets five hundred dollars cash, a fifty dollar coupon, and an Uno. And there's more. I mean, there's just more and more and more. Check it out. I'll put a link to it down below. It's from PCB Way. They're good guys. You know PCB Way. They sponsor the channel, make these videos possible for you. Hey, what's happening, guys? Not much of a video for you today. I am working on putting together kits. You guys saw the video I did a couple weeks ago where I put these, where I made these kits, designed them, and all that. I will um, put a link to it down below. I didn't expect them to sell as well as they did. I, I, I ordered five of them and I sold five of them. So this time we got, what, ten? So we'll see if we can sell ten of these. And we need something to package them in. So we got some bags. And we got components. So let me grab those as well. Okay. These are our bags. Every kit gets a PC board. And 10 LEDs. But what I generally do is give you more than 10. In case you, know, you put one in or backwards or something. So there's two... Three green. Oh, I missed that one. Try again. Three green. There's four blue. Three white. One. Oh man, falling everywhere. A couple yellows and a couple red. So you need 10, you're getting like 13 or 14, you know, just to be absolutely sure that you can complete the kit in case, you know, something goes bad. All right, up next, we got to put in our resistors. So you get two 10 Ks. That's for our timing. And like I said before, you can change those, you know, just the timing, however you want it. Then we're going to need the uh, 330 or something along those lines for the um, uh, <laughs> current limit for the for the LEDs. Boy, sometimes the old brain, you know. All right, so it looks like these ones are going to get 470 Ks, which just fine. Again, you can always adjust that and. Uh, Make your LEDs brighter or dimmer, however you choose. Totally up to you. All right, what else do we need? Oh, yeah, we need our uh, two capacitors. What did I use? I don't remember. One microfarad. Those are switches, not capacitors. Whoopsies. There we are. So one microfarad. These guys right here. I believe. That's two. There's one. Ba -ba. 
That goes in the bag. We're going to need some ICs, aren't we? Yes, indeed. And our ICs. A CD4017. And a 555 timer. And now we can put them in the bag, seal it up. <laughs> that didn't go well. Works, trust me. I've done it on five of these. You just got to line everything up properly first. All this stuff needs to go that way. That goes there. There we go. And everything fits just lovely, and we can put it in a post office mailing bag. That's the plan, anyway. The good thing is I don't anticipate a large volume of sales on these, because it would take me literally forever to put all these kits together. And honestly, I just, I doubt that I would want to do that. But a small scale, you know, where I only have to maybe put one pack a day together. That's no problem. I don't mind doing that. Especially when you guys have been so wonderful and kind and supporting me and supporting the channel all these years. Certainly wouldn't be here without you. I uh, most definitely appreciate all the support I've gotten from you guys over you know, my mom's health situation. She is, uh, as of today, which is what, uh, September 16th, she is still in the hospital with the COVID and, you know, all her other medical <laughs> problems, but the COVID seems to be the biggest one right now. And, uh, haven't had to put her on a ventilator yet, thank goodness. Thank heavens, thank the Lord. But she is incredibly weak, which is uh, concerning to my sister and the other doctors. So I don't know. I thank you for your concerns and your prayers, and I ask you to keep them up because uh, I certainly need them. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate you guys being there for me. It, it, it was nice to feel the support. You know, that was that was very cool. And I, I really appreciate that, guys. So I know I repeat myself, but you know, I mean it. I appreciate it. So I'm just going to make some more of these. And uh, hopefully things will get better over the weekend. And I'll talk to you guys again on Monday. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. God bless each and every one of you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.